Cheers, thank you. I'm sure you can. Yes, sir. Secret on Allah? You should want me to. I am more comfortable here. I can hide my Any questions. Question. Going once. Well, if you don't have questions, I'll take checks. <laughs> Kali? That some of us will be happy to do. Okay. I think we should. Yes. Anybody? I think we, are. we have somebody. Do you want to ask a I question? I think this sir? is the last day of the retreat. They're all extremely yes, sir, tired. Sir. They're wanting to go back home. There's somebody here at the end. Yes, sir. Can you please raise your hand and we'll pass over the mic to you. My name is Ajay Mukreja. I work with startups and I help them to scale up. I do appreciate all the great initiatives of T-Hub and I'm also involved with some of them. Why don't you try and look at cross-border technology partnerships to solve bigger problems of India in your startup? See, we all know about the major problem of food, nutrition, water, drinking water and even recycling wastewater. We know about problems. See, I understand all the IT related and biotechnology startups that are going on are going to make an impact but will not give employment, will not solve the problem. Why don't you try and look at this suggestion? I hope you, when you said cross-border, I hope, uh, don't mean the cross-border I was thinking. <laughs> okay, we have bigger problems there, so I'm not going to go there. I think, see, the cross-pollination, you know, of ideas from wherever, see, today's world, uh, Ajay, I don't think it matters where the idea germinates. What matters is, how you actually nurture it, how you actually evolve it into a, you know, a prototype or a product, right? So that's why in T-Hub, we just don't have a platform for the young uh, youngsters from India. In fact, we've also created a program called uh, T-Bridge, essentially for this purpose, where we actually have a lot of students. In fact, the last count, if I remember correctly, because I've been out of circulation for a while, um, I would say at least 50 startups from almost 11 countries have come through T-Hub have set shop in Hyderabad, and these are from different parts of the world. They've all come here, they're trying to enter the Indian market, so we've created a facility for them. But this is a two-way street. So T-Bridge also allows for Indian startups to go abroad, and uh, you know they can experiment in, or they can explore the marketplace in other countries like Canada, US, and you know Europe, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So yes, absolutely we're open. Like you said, I think uh, yeah, pole vaulting is the mode right now. Everybody's looking at, you know, we can't afford not to. So therefore, good ideas, wherever, no matter where they come from, open to them. And uh, as long as they're scalable, since you talked about scaling up as well. Just to give you a quick idea of what we've done. We've entered into a partnership with Goa, the state of Goa. What we told Goans and the Goan government is, we said, you know, Goa will get you your creative juices flowing. We all know that. When you go to Goa, you tend to be more creative and all that, right? So we told the Goan government that we understand that there are a lot of youngsters here who would want to also do you know, startups and innovation. But unfortunately, they don't have the expanse of land to scale up. So the agreement we had was that we would nurture them on the innovation side, on the, you know, uh, intricacies of starting up on your own. And then when it comes time to scale up, they can come to Hyderabad and Telangana and uh, we would provide them the right kind of platform. So yes, we can explore many partnerships like that. Why not? Yes, sir. Sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Mitch, you have the mic. Please. I am Varad Prasad. Out of six vaccine companies in the country, four are in Hyderabad. Yes, sir. Thanks. Sir. One is in Pune, one is in uh, Delhi. But from age old, almost British era resigned. We have the vaccine testing laboratory in Kassel, far away place, not easily accessible. And to send our samples it takes time, effort, and they are temperature sensitive. Most of the time, we lose some batches. Why not we have a central laboratory here, the center of the country, and four vaccine countries are here. I think we should strive to get that one. Uh, testing laboratory for Hyderabad. Sir, if it was up to me, I would have done it yesterday. But unfortunately, but you I know... I think we should fight for it as we fought for <laughs> no, it. No, I think I, say. I, I do have my thoughts. I'll let me just quickly expand on that. I think after April, May, if you ask me this question, then I'll possibly be in a better position to answer it because Beyond April May, I'm very confident that uh, TRS will have a bigger role to play in Delhi as well. And will not so, give uh, Modi Saab the free run we, that he has. We, we hope for it and we wish for it. Thank you. Thank you. And then hopefully we can make it happen sooner.